I'm Corey Watterson and this is Phil Harbaugh. We're from Windermere Mount Baker. And so I spent time in this home when they lived here many years ago. And the transformation of this home over the years has been pretty remarkable, uh, but especially in the last month or two since Phil and I started working on it. It's a puzzle almost. What are the investments that are gonna be most effective to make this house as good as it can be in a limited time frame. It is so satisfying to see it come together and then to see the market respond the way that it has to the decisions. And it's been quite a process over the past few weeks. It was in quite a state, shall we say, and a lot has happened since then. So we've redone the oak floors, installed new red oak floors in one of the bedrooms that didn't have wood flooring to keep everything consistent. Paint, fixed everything that's broken, uh, new lighting fixtures, new kitchen flooring, new appliances, thank you, Phil. Impossible to find <laughs> due to supply chain disruptions. Um, and then we had this amazing staging come in from Ronald Lee Ware. When the staging came in, it went from looking like a, a nice shell to a home. So in the past, I have a hard time picking out paint colors because there's so many colors of gray. I'll just sit there for two weeks. So I hire a colorist um, named Elizabeth Brown to help me with this. And over time, I've developed a, a palette um, with her that I know I can go to for colors that are going to work in most situations. So um, for this home, I chose Erwin Williams's Agreeable Gray, which is a designer favorite. But this gray is kind of special because it looks good in every light. We wanted it to be, again, neutral, and we wanted the whole home to feel open to what the new owner wants to do with it. But the darker gray was intended to make everything else look a little brighter because with some of these older homes, as you can see, there's no canister lighting. So making these homes feel bright enough, especially when you get into the gray period of Seattle weather, you know, making sure there are lamps around and things that reflect the light. And even now looking at the walls, you know, you have the reflection of the plants outside gives things kind of a green natural hue to the gray. So one of the reasons I chose Ronald Lee Ware for this because she really knows how to use color. And a lot of her furniture is almost like a mid-century modern vibe, but it's also traditional. And that's exactly the vibe that she got in all of the rooms, but especially shows in this room. But the use of the color is what helps make a very neutral space feel like it has some personality and it draws you into it, makes you want to stay. These are original 1947 cabinets. Some new owners are going to keep these and appreciate the history of the home. And some people are really into pr preserving an older home and others are gonna completely renovate this kitchen. Once again, kind of giving people the option to make the house what they want. So there were some people through the open house who came through and were like, oh, this kitchen's super funky, I love it. <laughs> and other people who were just like, yeah, those cabinets, they're Terrible. gonna go, they're Get gonna go. <laughs> but I think that's kind of the brilliance behind what our finished product was, is that it's a blank slate. You know, the house is move-in ready if you want it to have, you know, the original fixtures and that kind of central district charm. But then also, if you want to modernize things, you're not feeling like you're losing a whole lot tearing out the cabinets. One more point on that. I think it's a blank slate, but it's a blank slate that has history to it, where we have original cabinets, we have original tile, we have some of the original fixtures in this home. That's one of the benefits of a home that's not updated for many, many years of its lifespan, is you can bring it into the modern era and it still has something cool about it that people are resonating with on a style level and that it gives them a lot of options to play with. Some might come in and rip it all out and that's their choice. Uh, but if they don't want to do that, they have that option too, and they still have something quality to work with. The basement was essentially a cave. Uh, you know, really rough, no paint, was just used basically as storage with dust and debris everywhere. And we spruced it up a lot. We turned it into a bonus living space and made it into something that's more than just a concrete basement. <laughs> made it, made it daylight basement. So the first difference you can see is that we brightened everything up beforehand. You know, the walls were really dark. The floor was really dark. So we brought whites and grays in here and then a lot of lighting as well. We chose to go with these lights here that just kind of go full coverage lighting so that you see 
everything. Now beforehand, we didn't want that because everything you wanted to remain hidden. But now with all the color and the actual staging to make it look like a living space, it really feels like bonus square footage in the house. Thanks so much uh, for watching today. I'm Corey Watterson and this is Phil Harbaugh. We're from Windermere Mount Baker and you can see our contact information below.